Yes, get in. Now, this is being recorded hours after the game, but I'm still buzzing, man. And obviously, you know why you're here by now. West Ham United 2, Newcastle United 3. Three valuable points. In fact, valuable doesn't even do it justice. Oh, my God. Three crucial, three vital points. And yes, we've done a double over you guys. Done double over West Ham. We have two managers, two different managers in charge. Rafa Benitez is a G. I apologise on this one. I got it wrong, or Rafa got it completely right. I can hold my hands up and eat as much humble pie as you want because at the start of the game, I was thinking, what are you doing, Rafa? Naming Savé and Diame in the centre of midfield. Now, both of them go on to score. What an absolute mare I've had. What an absolute world of a decision. Even if he didn't mean it, because again, let's face it, if Shelby wasn't suspended, if Marino wasn't injured, Hayden wasn't injured, I don't think them two would be starting. But you know what? They've taken their opportunity by the scruff of the neck. Even Savé as well, especially Savé. Obviously, how we got started conceding so early on. Terrible back pass with Savé. And then obviously, Arnautovic goes on to score. And obviously, he's on a little decent run right now. And I'm thinking, come on, man. You've just proved my point. I don't like being right in these things. Trust me. People think I'm so negative. I've had to block a few people on Twitter thinking I'm negative. I'm just telling it how it is. It's not always nice, but this is how it is sometimes. And then obviously, he makes amends for it. Goals and scores are an absolute worldy of a free kick. I don't care, man, if it's taking a reflection or whatnot. It's a worldy of a free kick. Well done, Savvy. That's what you want to see. If you make a mistake, make up for it. And it's 1-1. One, one. And after that, man, after that, who goes on to score? Mo Diame. Now, come on. I'm not the only one. I know you two have been slating him left, right and centre. I've been heard him called a poor man to Moses Soko. And obviously, he's not doing too well over at Tottenham. And then, yes, he goes on, taps in. Great crossing by Atsu. And that's something that we missed as well. Just crosses into the box, whether they're low, whether they're high. Just get balls into the box. And there he is on arrival, taps in. Pipping, oh, it's pandemonium in the stands. I'm at work, it's pandemonium at work. I'm shouting, nipping and blinding. That's not even like me, but we needed this game. We needed this win so badly. And then even, you know what, heroes of the match, because I'm not even calling men of the man of the match, heroes of the match, because obviously we go on to concede a penalty. I've looked at it two or three times, probably was a penalty. Kieran Clark takes down Antonio in the box. Referee points to spot. Ops, that's IU. What a save by Rob Elliott. Pippin. I mean, I thought that was Darlow's job to save penalties, but you know what, Elliot, you can take the crown now as well. You're in between the sticks. Saves a penalty. It was still 2 1. And that's, I think that's still the first half, isn't it? I don't know. I've, I've lost it by then. Anyway, obviously, then we go on to score a third. Now, I'm thinking, how, hold on a minute. How, how is this even happening? We struggle to score goals, let alone three goals in one game. Albeit it is against West Ham, they have been conceding goals left, right, centre. But under Moyes, they've been looking better. And that pains me to say. But yes, Atsu goes on to score a third. Again, absolute scenes in the stands. And I'm thinking, yes, finally, we can end this streak. I think it's been like 10 games without a win. Five games, I think it would have been uh, beaten in a row or something like that. Anyway, but then obviously they go on. In fact, scroll back. They send on, obviously, local lad Andy Carroll. He's going to cause mayhem, and lo and behold, he does. From the corner, drops to AU, makes up for his penalty miss, and obviously it's 3 to him. We're holding on by the skin of our teeth, but we hold on. <sighs> yes, and it's 3 to and we're up to 50. Now, the only thing that probably went wrong today is that not all the results went our way. Obviously, Stoke, West Brom, two teams are in and around us. Stoke on to win 3-1 against West Brom. West Brom are underneath us. Stoke, I believe, are above us. But other um, results went our way. Obviously, I think Swansea lost. No biggie there. But anyway, main thing is we won 3-2. And lo and behold, we've got Manchester City up next. But again, it's three points that we needed. We said we wanted to get to 20 points. We've got Man City up next. I don't know what's going to happen with that one. I'm not going to rule Rafa out just yet. But again, three massive points and standout performances. I mean, Save, well done. Diame, well done. Uh, who else is there? I mean, Hossu put in a shift today. Elliot, what a save. Um, Lascelles, how good do we look with Lascelles back in the side? I mean, I think he should be one of the man of the, ma man of the matches. I mean, we just look so more sturdy. I can see him talking to the team all the time. I mean, even when he's coming off the pitch with Rafa, he was, Rafa was having a word in his ear. And I even listened to him in the interview afterwards. He didn't even know what he said because he's still buzzing. But 
We just look so more sturdy with him in the team. And we still got the likes. I think Shelby's coming back now. I think he serves to match burn if, if, I'm, if I remain correct. And then obviously we've got Hayden um, and of course, what's his name? Bloody hell. I'm forgetting now. Marino to come back. Sorry. Got back, Marino. But again, it's looking good. Obviously, Jan's around the corner. We won't talk about takeover just now. We'll talk about this win. And hopefully, and I was thinking it was going to be first match of the day, but I forgot the whole Liverpool Arsenal game. That was a bit of a worldy game yesterday as well. So, I'm going to enjoy that match of the day. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys soon. Get in! <laughs>